you should all come and participate in the celebration of Dad's 100th birthday. And of course, all of this is at the controls of Mary Ellen. <laughs> she, she has been practicing medicine without a license. <laughs> Or I'd say about 16 or 17. <laughs> but I don't think anybody's going to turn her in because she has such a wonderful patient. I've asked you all to kind of come together here for a moment because uh, within the group of my friends, uh, we are blessed to know uh, a fellow that I consider to be a Renaissance man ever since I met him. He's probably going to be a little embarrassed that I would tell you he's a lawyer, <laughs> he's a PhD, he's a former Marine pilot, jet pilot, although I understand he started out on gliders when they weren't in an engine. <laughs> and uh, for purposes of this evening's celebration, his talent extends to the fact that he is a superior musician and composer. He's at the piano right now, and that's Ken Sparks. Mr. Hybe, this is a biography, and I have written this based on numerous sources. Unfortunately, I can't disclose those sources, but this is a very brief musical biography for you. To live to be a hundred, it's a goal we all profess. Especially when filled with love, good health, and happiness. Today we celebrate a man who expertly got it done. A man who has inspired us all as a new centurion. <laughs> It all began in Lebanon 100 years ago. There in a mountain village, Tony Hybe first did show. His mother was Embaraki, a woman strong of will. And how she loved her Anthony, he remembers still. <laughs> At 13, Tony and his mom left the valley of Becca and set out for America and a town called Utica. <laughs> Lots of other Lebanese had settled in the town, so Tony and Mbaraki had lots of friends around. <laughs> He nurtured Tony and kept her in his sight While friends like Saad Aziz and Eunice Helped raise Tony right <laughs> He left school in 10th grade to earn his daily bread He was a gifted salesman Yet yeah, Tony knocked him dead <laughs> with little cookies known as dainty bits then with monarch foods he made his sales hits throughout his long life he has proved as salesman he's a star and even in retirement he sold the world's cigars <laughs> for 30 years well I gotta get my music up here again well now, as a young man he met Delia and asked her for her hand, but it was seven years before she saw that wedding band. <laughs> now you know there's a story there. <laughs> it was the depression and times were hard to see, and Delia had to work both night and day to support her family. No time for marriage. <laughs> In 36 they married, and the family soon began. There was Richard and Nancy and Joey and Jimmy. It was quite a clan. <laughs> the kids were taught to learn each day, and schoolwork proved a breeze. And don't
don't you know that those four kids wound up with 10 degrees? <laughs> Imagine the tuition! <laughs> Now Tony and Delia's kids have kids, and those kids have kids as well. And each and every year, it seems the family roster swells. <laughs> and lots and lots of little things make Tony's life complete. Like bingo and baklava, kibbe, fruit, and lots of sweets. <laughs> Happiness, hard work, love, and faith, these are Tony's legacy. And what a blessed gift they are to a grateful family. So, Tony, happy 100th birthday, and many, many more. We're proud of all the things you did and the values you stand for.